Hello and welcome students to various injection attacks. So in this section we are going to take a look at various points like first of all we will learn about what is SQL injection and uh, their various injection vulnerabilities. What is the effect of SQL injection on web applications and then we will learn about various kinds of SQL injection commands using SQL injection cheat sheet and then the prevention techniques from SQL injection in the last step. So let's start with the first video of section 3 SQL injection and various injection vulnerabilities. So in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about what is SQL injection and then we will learn the process of SQL injection in web applications. So first of all, what is SQL injection attack? So uh, as we already know that SQL injection attack is basically the number one attack on web applications. And uh, if it is available in your web application, then you should remove it immediately. So let's learn about SQL and SQL injection. So SQL is called structured query language, as you can see in the first point. Right? This is the full form of SQL. And uh, what is SQL injection? So SQL injection is an injection attack. You can see here it is an injection attack and where attacker inserts malicious scripts in database to get sensitive information. So it's a quite simple concept that uh, it is also a command based attack, right? And attacker needs to insert some malicious command, right? And by using that script or that command, database provides you information. So that kind of attack is called SQL injection attack in which attacker tries to insert scripts in the database and getting the valuable information in return. What kind of information attacker can get from SQL injection? That is in the third point. So SQL injection attack can provide sensitive information like username and password. So what kind of username and password? For example, admin username, the admin panel of the website and Attacker can get the username and the password of the admin panel and attacker can wipe out the complete data from a database. What else? And attacker can get phone numbers of customers, right? Fax numbers, addresses of customers. So this kind of uh, sensitive information and attacker can get from SQL injection attack. Process. Let's talk about SQL injection process. It's quite simple. So here you can see uh, this is a very simple scenario in which you can see this is the attacker and this is your database or you can say web server. An attacker tries to attack on the web server. So what is the process? Process is quite simple, right? And because attacker needs to use internet to access the web server of that particular website, right? And uh, it's quite simple. Attacker needs to insert some commands, which is SQL commands. And uh, this database will provide you all the information to attacker browser. So this is called basically SQL injection process. What kind of commands we can use in SQL injection that I'm going to cover in the next videos. And this is just a process that I'm going to provide you some information about it, right? And uh, this is a quite simple scenario, all right? So because anyone can access websites and website has web server and web server contains database. So the attacker needs to attack on this database to gather information about tables, columns as the data, which is valuable to attacker. So the R target means if you consider as, as an attacker, then your target is to gather information from the database of the website that we are going to learn in this section. So this is all about uh, this video about SQL injection introduction and process.